Um, today we are doing a gentle-ish kind of flow. Um, so we've been doing some little bit harder stuff lately, so I thought I'd take it down a knot or two and we could do something uh, a little different. Uh, not too different though. It's still me, we still gotta do something, something. So when you're ready, go ahead and lay down onto your mat. Bring your arms together and let your head rest. And then go ahead and start to take some deep breaths into your belly. Feel your belly expand with your inhale. And then as you exhale, feel the belly contract just a little bit towards the spine away from the floor. Let your breath be slow and steady and quiet and soft. Give yourself some time to rest within the breath, rest within the space that you're creating in your body. and lessen some of the stress that you might be feeling from the outside world. And take a couple more breaths like this. Just letting the body really settle and soften. And when you're ready, go ahead and take your legs nice and wide apart. Bend both your knees and start to windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Both legs going in one direction and then across to the other. And taking it through a couple times here, still letting your head rest on the floor and letting your body breathe. And then we'll go ahead and come through center and extend those legs. Press our hands into the ground and draw back into a child's pose. Knees are nice and wide, hips come back towards the heels, and body is stretching out. You can place a blanket under your head or blocks. Let your lower back lengthen, let your body get nice and long. Then go ahead and extend the arms in front of you. Press the hips back a little bit more, even if that means your head doesn't touch the floor. And let's walk our arms to the left, really slow and steady all the way over to the left, reaching our right buttock away from us. And then we'll come all the way across, all the way over to the right, same thing, reaching that left arm away and stretching our left buttock away from us. And then all the way through center again, reaching through center, reaching the hips back, finding a big stretch in the lower back. And then we'll slide forward into hands and knees. So the knees are going to come underneath of our hips, our hands underneath of our shoulders. As we inhale, we'll let the belly draw down, lift the chest, lift the hips, roll the shoulders back. And then as we exhale, we'll round the spine, pulling the belly button towards the spine, bringing the ribs and the hips together. So just breathing between these two, inhaling, letting the front of the body expand, and then exhaling, rounding, reaching, lifting into the back. 
Take your time here. Let the movement be slow and steady. Focus on how it feels to breathe like this, how it feels to move. And then take it through maybe two or three more times, finding those deep stretches in the back and front of the body. And then that last one, Then we'll bring the spine to a neutral position, hands up to the shoulders or slightly in front. Inhale, let the belly draw down, lift your chest and your hips. And then as you exhale, round your spine, roll back, come into that child's pose. Inhale, roll forward, belly down, chest lifts, hips lift. Exhale, round the spine, roll back, find that child's pose. Inhale, roll forward, chest lifts, hips lift. Move in between, nice and slow. Exhale on your way back. Inhale on your way forward. Exhale on your way back. Like you're kind of moving in a bit of a circle here. Looking for that rhythm and meeting that rhythm with your breath. Meeting that breath with your movement. Taking your time. Slow, steady, full movements. Let's do two more like this, really just moving through the spine, moving through the front and back of the body. exhalation, we're going to roll back, bring the heels to the hips and the hips to the heels. And then we'll slide those hands back as well. We're going to let the tops of the hands, the knuckle sides of the hands rest on the floor. Let the head rest on the floor. And then as we inhale, we're going to lift up. So we're going to inhale, lift up onto the knees. We'll pull the chest up, pull the hips forward, reach the arms back, take a big stretch. And then exhale, contract the core, drag the hands back, Take the head to the floor. Inhaling, sliding up, controlling the core, controlling the torso, squeezing the legs. Exhaling, drawing it down, hinging from the hip crease, and bringing the arms back. Two more like this. Inhale, bring it up, lift up, don't let the knees splay, hug the knees towards center a little bit to help engage that core, and then exhale, flip back. One more, inhale, lift up, stretch to the sky, hips forward, arms back, and then exhale, take it all the way back down. We're going to change the movement here, so as you inhale, come all the way up, come over those knees, reach the arms overhead, as you exhale, take your left arm forward, your right arm back, look through the right fingers, inhale back to center, exhale, right arm forward, left arm back, Inhale back to center, exhale, float back and down. I know, it was a change, so let's do this slow. Inhale, come all the way up, reach the arms to the sky, big stretch. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, arms come up, squeeze the knees together. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, slide it back, head towards the floor. Two more, okay? Inhale, squeeze up and in, reach it all the way up. Exhale, keep squeezing as you rotate. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and twist. Inhale, reach up, squeeze from the center. Exhale, draw down. Last one, like that. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, float it back, child's pose. 
Take two breaths here. All right. Inhale, come all the way up. Stretch your arms overhead. Exhale, bring the arms forward. Inhale, open the arms wide. Lean back. Exhale, bring the arms forward. Lean up. Lean up? Okay, let's go with it. Inhale, lean back. I like to call this the Michael Jackson. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, come forward. Find those quadricep muscles. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, come forward. Try not to round your spine. Inhale, core engaged, lean back. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, float back and down. Two breaths. Beautiful. Inhale, come all the way up. Squeeze your legs to center. Keep the arms by the ears if that feels comfortable for you. This, engage, this increases your lever, so it does make it a little bit more difficult. So if you want to, the arms can come forward. You can place your hands on your hips here if you'd like. We're going to inhale, lean back. As far back as you want to, exhale, draw back up. Inhale, lean back as far back as you want to. Inhale, lean back or reach back up. Lean back up. Inhale. And exhale, squeeze the thighs towards midline. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. This time, place your hands down onto the floor. Hands and knees. Cat cat. Inhaling, belly draws down. Exhale, we round. So as I've mentioned before, you can always place a blanket under your knees if you need extra cushion whenever we're in hands and knees poses. Last one. Good, go ahead and inhale, belly down. Exhale, round the child's pose. Inhale, roll forward, belly down, chest lifts, hips left. Exhale, tuck your toes, narrow down dog. Inhale, holding it down, knees to the floor, belly down, chest lifts, hips lift. Exhale, untuck the toes, round your spine, roll back to child's pose. Inhale, belly down, chest lifts, hips lift. Exhale, tuck your toes, down dog. And again, inhale, knees down, chest lifts, hips lift. Exhale, round your spine, child's pose. Inhale, chest down, hips lift. Exhale, round your spine, down dog. Couple more. Inhale, knees down, chest lifts, hips lift. Exhale, untuck the feet, round your back, child's pose. You can come down nice and low if you want. Next inhalation, roll forward. Exhale, down dog. One more after this, one more full round. Inhale, knees down. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, tuck your toes, down dog, hold here. This is a narrow down dog, so your heels might touch the floor, they might not, not a big deal either way. You can even walk your hands forward a little bit and start to walk out your dog. Spreading your fingers, releasing your lower back, stretching out your lower back and your shoulders. One more here. And then we're just gonna keep walking as we walk our feet forward towards our hands, just taking it all the way to the front of the mat. Once you get to the front of the mat, let's place our feet about hip distance apart. That is about this distance apart. So if you take your hands and place them together like this and place them between your feet, that's how far apart your feet are gonna go. Press through your feet, rise all the way up, stretch your arms overhead. Take a slight back bend here. And then exhale and bring the arms down by your sides. Roll the shoulder blades down and back, palms facing forward if you'd like. 
Little bend in the knees to make sure you're pressing into the ground, pulling up and in through your lower belly, lifting through the center of your chest, finding mountain. Inhale, reach the right arm up by your right ear. Exhale, left hand slides down the left leg, find that stretch. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, right arm comes down. So using the breath, inhale, lifts the left arm. Exhale, slides down the right leg. Inhale, lifts the left arm. Exhale, lowers the left arm. Here we go again. Right arm, inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale down. Inhale, left arm. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, left arm. Two more. Inhale, right arm. Exhale to the left. So you know that you can go a little deeper if you want to. Inhale. Exhale down. Take these more gentle movements and utilize your body. Make them work a little deeper. Make them be a little more important to your practice. It's not all about the fun stuff or the excruciatingly difficult stuff. It's also about being able to move with the rhythm of your breath. It's also about being able to breathe and stretch Excellent. Let's do both arms up. Interlace all the fingers, but the first one, point those fingers to the sky. Hold on to your ears. We're going to exhale, sit back into a chair. I know it doesn't seem gentle, but it is. Exhale, sit back into your chair, squeeze your ears. Inhale, core stays engaged, lift. Exhale, draw it back, toes get soft. Inhale, press right back up. Keep those knees in line with your ankles. Exhale. Inhale, you have one more. Four seems to be the thing. Four in quarantine. Exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach those arms back. Exhale, place those hands onto your lower back. Roll the shoulders down. Take a nice deep breath in. Lift not just the center of your chest. Lift the whole front of your being upwards. So you're lifting from your thighs, from your hips. Everything up. So far up that the head has to come back to give more room for the torso. And then exhale. First come back into that uh, mountain pose. Arms in. Inhale both arms up. Interlace the fingers this time. Press the palms up. Exhale, turn to the left, keeping the hips level. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, turn to the right, keeping your right hip forward. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Take it all the way down. Now, for those of you who want to use blocks here, you can. There's always an opportunity for blocks. You don't have to, but you can. Let there be a little bend in your knees, just a little one, because we aren't looking to make this a pancake on pancake action. Instead, we're going to shift the weight forward a little bit, bend the knees a little, let the belly rest on the thighs, maybe grab the back of the ankles or wrap the arms, whatever works for you. Shake out your head, soften your neck and your jaw. Take two or three more breaths here. Pulling up and in through the lower belly, see if the top of the head wants to come closer to the floor. One last breath. And then from here, hands are next to your feet, either on blocks or not. We're going to inhale and step our right leg back. So keeping the hands onto the blocks or floor here, push back through your right heel. Keep reaching the heel back as the left knee comes forward. Get as much stretch in that right side as you can, but also see if you can let the left buttock draw down so that you can draw the line from the left buttock to the left knee. So there's that nice right angle action happening in the leg. Good. Hold here. Keep pushing back through your right heel. Feel the stretch in the back of the leg, in the hip, in the shoulders maybe. And then from here, go ahead and lower that right knee down. So you took some time to really lengthen out that right leg. Untuck your toes, push down through the left big toe side of your foot so that your knee doesn't roll out. 
And then from this position, you can take your blocks to a higher height for those of you who are really looking to um, not overdo it this morning, right? So you still have pressure on the hands. Or you can place your hands onto your thighs, asking for a little bit more balance and also for the knee to take in a little bit more balance. Let the arms hang down for those of you who are not using the blocks. If you're still using the blocks, just hold on. And for those of you who are not using the blocks, you can reach the arms up. Try not to overarch your back here. Engage your core. Stay breathing. Long hold. Don't just drop your hips. Squeeze your legs towards center line. By squeezing the legs towards center line, you're controlling the flexibility in the hips. You're not just dropping hips into areas. You're not just overstretching your groin muscle. Exhale, lower the hands down. Place those blocks to the lowest height for those of you who are using them. Using them, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, hold here, push back through your right heel, left knee over your ankle. Hold and breathe. I know that right leg is feeling a little less connected, I'm sure. Hold on to it, just breathe. All right, so we're going to carry that right leg forward. Press firmly into the floor with your left foot. Strong leg carries that right leg forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Palms facing forward, find mountain pose. What is happening here? Probably your right leg feels a little different than your left, rightfully so. Give yourself a moment. Feel what's going on in the right leg. Feel what's going on in the front of the right hip. Inhale, bring your arms up and overhead. Squeeze your ears, interlace your fingers all but the first finger. Exhale, shift back into a chair. Knees stay in line with the ankles. All the way back up. Exhale. Inhale, push back up. Heels taking on a bit more weight here. Wiggle those toes. Exhale. Inhale, push back up. One more. Exhale. Inhale, push right back up. Exhale, lower all the way down. Forward fold. Shake out your head. Maybe you feel like the right side has a little bit more length in it. Don't worry. We'll fix it. All right, left leg this time. Inhale, left leg comes back really far back behind you. We're going to hold here. I know long holds are never fun. Push back through the left heel. Right knee over top of the ankle. Find length here from the left outer corner of your ankle. Line it up with the left outer side of your knee. The left hip bone, the left rib, the left shoulder, the left ear. So you're finding that nice plumb line in a lunge. Push back. Roll forward. So that right knee comes forward. The right buttock stays in line with the knee. Just because we can't see my right buttock, it's in line with my right knee. Try not to lean into the left hip, stay level. Left heel is directly up into the sky, it's not rolling in or out. Squeeze the legs towards center, it helps. And then lower that left knee to the floor, nice and slow. Use a blanket if you need to, untuck your toes. Blocks can come to the higher height for those of you who are using them. Just kind of hang out here, or you can just keep your hands on the floor. Hold here for a moment. Find the lower abdomen, don't over arch the back here, right? Move the ribs in, lift through the center of your chest. Make sure you're pressing down through the right big toe of the foot. For those of you without blocks, you can place your hands on the thigh if you like. You can let your hands hang down. Again, squeezing towards midline. This might, this might be a tighter side for you or the more looser. Is this your money making side? This might be your looser side. It could be your money making side. When you're ready, lift all the way up, reach your arms, engage the core. It is a back bend, but it's not, it doesn't have to be a deep, deep back bend yet. You don't have to get there. You can just kind of engage and breathe and be happy. Just happy people. One more breath. Wonderful. Go ahead and lower the hands down. Place the blocks down, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, push back through your left heel. Oi, 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 still there, still holding though, okay? Push down through that right big toe, right near your ankle, push back through your left heel, engage your core, pull your belly button up and in. One or two more breaths. 
Press down firmly through your right foot and carry that left foot forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Big stretch. Hands come down by your sides, by a mountain. Notice what's happening here. Look for the bands of stretch that might have gotten uh, attached to you here, or found their way into you. Awesome. Inhale, come all the way up. Grab those ears, interlace those fingers. Exhale, sit back. A little bit deeper, maybe. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, sit back, maybe a little deeper. Inhale, push up, squeeze those ears. Exhale. Inhale, push, push, push. One more. Exhale. Inhale, push all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Shake out your head. Shift the weight towards the balls of the feet. Let your tailbone lift. Let your breath be slow and steady. Quiet and soft. And then from here, finding that right leg, we're going to step back again into a lunge. So holding onto the blocks if you're using them, the left block is going to come behind the left ankle at the highest height. We're going to drop the left hip down so it's in line with our left knee. If you're using the floor, then the right hand is going to come behind the left ankle. Then from here, we're going to spin the right heel to the ground. When we look down, the left heel lines up with the right instep. And we'll start to place that weight into the left hand for a moment, or into that block. And we're going to straighten this left leg really slowly so that we don't just push the knee back, but instead engage and form out the muscular structure of the thigh. So we're pulling the thigh up and in. Then we'll move this left hip away from our armpit. And we're going to take our right hand to our right hip bone. Move the right hip back, move the right shoulder back and reach that right arm straight up to the sky. Hold here. Try not to grip the floor with the toes. So this is stage one of where we're going. We're uh, coming into a triangle posture. You can turn your head and look towards your thumb if you want. We're going to keep the arms out so that they're in line with our shoulders, but we're going to bend the left knee and come right back into warrior two. So the left knee's over the ankle, the hips low. Hold here, stage two of where we're going. The right hip's rolling back, the left knee stays over the ankle. So we're going to continue by moving between these two. Your exhale's gonna draw you down into that triangle posture. Your inhale's going to bring you up into warrior two. All right, four of them to go. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, warrior two. You can use the block. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, warrior two. This right arm is just kind of staying in place. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, warrior two. Last one. Exhale, triangle. Move those hips back. Inhale, warrior two, hold. Beautiful. Straighten that left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee over the ankle. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. Stay here. Inhale, right arm to the back leg. Left arm up. Exhale, left elbow to the left thigh, right arm by your right ear. Inhale, right arm back, left arm up. Exhale, left elbow down, right arm by your right ear. Inhale, right arm back, left arm up. Exhale, left elbow down, right arm by your right ear. One more. Inhale, right arm back, left arm up. Exhale, left elbow down, right arm by your right ear. Inhale, open up to a triangle. Exhale, right hand to your right hip. Bend your left knee, lift your back heel. Hands to the floor. Well, that was fun. 
Let's exhale forward. Forward fold. Shake out your head. Press through your feet. Inhale, come all the way up. Grab your ears with your arms. Interlace your fingers. Point your fingers, point up. Toes face forward. Exhale, sit back. Core engaged. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, sit back. Core engaged. Inhale, come all the way up. Think of how many times you're sitting during the day. Exhale, use your core to help lift and lengthen. Good. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take it all the way down. Forward fold. Shake it out. <sighs> Let your body relax here. Let yourself breathe. Give yourself a moment. Okay, so the left leg is the one that's going back this time. So you're going to step that left foot back as far as you can. Find your strong lunge. Those of you using the blocks, you're going to take that right block behind your ankle at the highest height. Spin your left heel to the ground. This is a modification. You can also place your right hand on the floor. Once the hand's on the block and we have the left hip starting to open, left hand to your left hip. Let's very slowly straighten that right leg, moving the right hip away from you. Shoulder blades draw back and down, left hip rolls back, left arm comes up, long hold of a triangle pose. Shoulder blades draw back, breath is slow and steady. Just kind of finding where we're at here, you can look down, you can look forward if you like to stare at me while I do it, or you can look up unless you have 20 pounds of hair, in which case you can look forward. I like to think my hair is 20 pounds, let's be honest. Really engage that right thigh, move that right hip away from you, roll your shoulder blades down and back. You're doing great, just take three, maybe four more breaths here. Really find that extension in your chest, the opening here. Try not to roll in. Maybe one more. Awesome, you know what's coming. We're going to bend that right knee, yeah? Keep the arms exactly as they are. We're going to inhale to our stage two, which is that nice warrior two posture. Right knee over your ankle, arms out to the side. Pressing down through that left pinky toe, letting that right knee stay over the ankle, finding that lever here. We have this right ankle thing going on. Relaxing the toes, hold here. Just breathe. Couple more to go, okay? All right, so that left arm, it's, it's just coming along with the right. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up or to the floor. Inhale, knee over ankle, warrior two. Exhale, touching the floor, touching the block. Inhale, warrior two. The arms really are just gonna stay out from the sides and in line with the shoulders. One more. Exhale. Inhale, find that warrior two, stay low. Good. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, a little deeper. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, a little deeper. Inhale, straighten, just keep that back pinky toe on the floor. Exhale, bend. Woohoo, one more. And inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, left arm back, right arm up. Exhale, right elbow to the right thigh, left arm by your left ear. Inhale, left arm back, right arm up. Exhale, elbow to thigh, elbow by ear. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one more. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Take that right hand down and sink straight into a triangle. Big stretch. Open space. Exhale, bend the knee. Take the left hand to the floor. Move the blocks out of the way. And this time we're going to step back into a plank. Beautifully done. Hold that plank here or place, release the knees on the floor. Push the heels back. Arms might 
be a little tired here from holding them up like that. So keep breathing, notice what's going on in the body. And then exhale, lower the knees, draw back into a child's pose. Take one more breath here. If the arms aren't already forward, stretch them forward, tuck your toes, come to a down dog. Big stretch. Three breaths. Last one, really press the heels down towards the earth as you push your hips up. And let's walk our feet forward towards our hands. Grab the elbows, let the head hang. A little rag doll here. Let the hands come down to the floor fingertips, just touching the floor. Bend your knees, belly to the rest on the thighs as if you're sitting down to a low chair. And then we're gonna inhale and reach the arms by the ears. Take this last chair posture, engage your core. Squeeze your knees towards midline. Shift your weight onto your right foot. We're going to start to come up, pull the knee in. And then we're gonna exhale, stand or sit right back down to that deep chair. Inhale, shift the weight to the left, lift up. Exhale, shift the weight deep into your chair. Inhale, strong right leg. Exhale, shifting back. Inhale, strong left leg. Inhale, shifting back. Two more, ready? Right. Exhale, sit back. Left. Sit back, right, sit back, left. This is your gentle-ish part. Exhale back, sit back into your chair. Hands come down, that was your last chair pose. Forward fold, shake out your head. All that weight was in your heels earlier because in chair pose you shift back into the heels. So now draw some weight towards the balls of the feet. The heels aren't going to lift, but you're going to let them be a little lighter so that you can attack or not attack. That's awful. So you can <laughs> find your hamstrings here, that whole long muscular sur surface at the back of your legs. Shake out your head, soften your neck and your jaw. Pull up and in through your lower belly. Relax your shoulder, relax the whole upper part of your body towards the floor. Give yourself just a deeper breath, maybe one or two. And then however it is that you would like to transition to the floor, that's what you're gonna do. So for some people, they like to come into a squat and plop, a squat and plop, that sounds terrible. Or you can sit whatever way you want to, or maybe not a disgusting way that I just described. So sitting up nice and tall, Either legs are crossed um, in whatever manner feels best for you. You can sit on a blanket here. That's not going to affect anything, um, except for making your lower back longer and maybe getting you a little bit more upright, maybe getting you a little bit more strength. And we're going to make a big circle with our body. So we're going to lean to the right, come all the way across with an exhale, or excuse me, an inhale. And then you're going to exhale, round your spine, and roll back. So the inhale is just going to let your knees to forward and across. And the exhale is going to draw you back. Just taking some slow, rhythmic rotation. Right. This always reminds me of that movie Avatar with all the blue beans. They're uh, all sitting next to each other doing this. 
Let's do one more. And as you know, we have to reverse. So moving to the left, and just finding that same rotation, that same strength, that same structure, that same rhythm. See if you want to let the body just kind of float instead of tighten and tighten. Tighten. If there's a little bit more um, jellyfish to your movement instead of toy soldier. One more. Awesome. So we're going to move things out of the way. If you're like me, you always have things in the way. You can still stay seated on your blanket. I'd like you to have a little bit of room. So we're going to roll to the right, bring the body all the way over to the left, and then once this left, arm, once our body's towards the left knee, I want you to reach your left arm back and just stretch your right arm by your right ear. And then just go ahead and take it to the other side. Slide across, right arm's going to come in line with that right hip, and then lift that left arm up. Exhale, float, inhale, reach. Exhale, float, inhale, reach. Exhale, float, inhale, reach. Ah, one more. Exhale, float, inhale, reach. Beautiful. Exhale, come all the way across. Let's take that left arm by our left hip. Reach the right arm by our right ear. Take a big, deep stretch. Hold here, the last one's a nice long hold. And then let's take it all the way across to the other side. Nice long hold on this side. Opening it up, just finding that breath. And then we're gonna come all the way down, all the way forward. And then for some of us, a block under the head would be really helpful here. Right? Maybe not so high. Maybe a blanket under the head. Whatever feels best for you. But don't just come off the butt to get here, okay? It's not a child's pose, so you're not, um, you don't ha have that um, accessibility of lifting your butt here. So if you need to sit on a blanket, that's gonna help as well. But we wanna get into the back. We wanna get into the breath. Just take a couple more breaths here. Last one. And we'll slide all the way up. Hands are going to come to the knees. And we're going to move through cat cow, but this time just forward and back seated. So you're going to inhale, lift the chest, move those shoulders down. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale round. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale round. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale round. And then we'll sit all the way up nice and tall. Mm -hmm. Coming into a twist, right hand, so same hand as the knee, right hand to your right knee, left hand behind you, and twist. Sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders back and down. And then taking that left hand to your left knee, right hand behind you and twist. back into center, walking the hands back, fingertips can face the buttocks or outwards, lift the chest. Bring the hands back down to the knees. We're going to lay down onto our backs. Blanket nearby if you're going to need it.
lock nearby if you're gonna need it. So once you're laying down onto your back, let the legs be long and the arms reach overhead. Stretch out through your fingertips and reach through your toes. We're going to locate the left leg and we're going to reach that left leg up to the sky and cross it over the right. And then as you do that, you're going to shift onto that right hip and just kind of reach through that left foot. And you can grab hold of your right wrist here and just pull a little bit to the left. And then we're going to switch, come back through center, lift that right leg. Bring it over your left leg, grab your left wrist, and pull. And then coming back into center again. Stretch both arms and legs. And then place both of your feet onto the floor and let your arms rest down by your sides. So moving into a pelvic tilt here, when you work with pelvic tilt, it feels like it should look like you're doing a bridge, but it's really not. It's a movement on the tailbone. So as you inhale, the belly expands and the tip of your tailbone comes towards the floor. So there's a little lift here in my lower back. But then as you exhale, the tip of your tailbone points up and the contraction happens into your belly. For those of you who have a tendency to let your knees splay open, just hold the block the whole time. So as you inhale, belly expands, tailbone tips to the floor. And then the exhale, contracting through the lower belly and lifting the tip of the tailbone, not the buttocks. So inhaling, drawing down, and exhaling, lifting. And for those of you who find this incredibly easy, mazel tov, this is actually a really difficult posture for many people because the, the accessibility into the pelvis or the pelvic girdle is really um, not there. We don't really have um, as much um, accessibility to know that we can rotate the pelvis sh uh, short of moving the whole back and the whole spine, that the pelvis can just kind of move on its own. So this movement helps with a lot of lower back injuries. Not only does it help create a little bit more rotation and mobility in the lower back, but it also helps us to control and focus on the pelvic floor and the strength in the abdomen. So the next time that you exhale, see if you can pull up your pelvic floor as you lift your tailbone. And then as you inhale, see if you can lower the tailbone and relax the pelvic. Exhale, contract, pull in and lengthen, or pull up and in, I should say, and then inhale, release. So if you've had children or if you're getting up there in years, gentlemen, this is a really nice um, activity to help strengthen the pelvic floor. And there's a lot of abdominal muscle that has to do with the pelvic floor. You know, strong pelvic floors help to create strong bodies. So maybe one or two more. If you're like me, you can start to hear your digestion starting to kick on, you're bringing a lot of tension to that area. So the next time that you do this, go ahead and exhale, pull your pelvic floor up and pull your lower belly in and maybe your belly button to your spine. And as you inhale, relax your belly button, your lower abdomen and your pelvic floor in that level. So exhale, pelvic floor, lower belly, belly button. Inhale, belly button releases, lower belly, pelvic floor. So again, just Take your time. Try not to squeeze everything at one time. Try to release everything in each level and squeeze everything at each level. Think of an elevator, floor by floor by floor, floor by floor by floor. So keep going, about three more. Two more. One more. Very good. And then from here, move your block out from between your knees. Walk your feet a little wider than hip distance apart, about mat distance, and start to winch away through your legs from side to side. 
Yeah, just a little bit of pelvic work. If you're in my classes, you're used to me focusing on the pelvis a little too much, probably for your liking. come back at the center. We're going to drop both the knees to the right. Hold here if you'd like to or lift your right foot off the floor and place it onto your left thigh and just let the knee come closer to the ground. If this is uncomfortable for you, you don't have to do it. You can like to modify this. You can place a block under your knee. Come out nice and slow. Take it over to the left, to the left. Place your block or under your left knee, place your left foot onto your right thigh, or if you have a little more accessibility this side, you might not need a block here. And then releasing, come back into center. And go ahead and extend the legs for a moment. Readjust your buttocks and see if you can level out your hips. So can your left and right hip be on the same level, but also in the same weight to the floor? Let the arms rest down by your side. Take one really giant breath here. And as you inhale, reach your arms overhead into an, um, as if you're putting yourself into a starfish or an X. Arms out from the shoulders and legs out from the hips. So you're in a giant X position. Good. Now laying here for a moment longer, take some deep breaths into the belly. Now notice if you are leaning into the right buttock or the left buttock more. And just adjust for a moment. See if you can find yourself evenly on each buttocks. And then from here, let's try and breathe deep into the abdomen. And I want you to find a direct current of breath or a direct current of energy from your belly button. And I want you to draw that energy all the way up and into your left hand. So that way you're almost reaching a little bit further through that left arm, getting a little bit more activity into that left arm. And then as you exhale, soften that left arm down to the ground and bring the energy back into the belly button. Now find that current of energy starting at your navel and reach it out through your right arm. Activating that right arm, stretching it away. And then exhale and soften the right arm to the floor and draw that energy back into the navel into the navel again and reaching through your left leg. Belly expands, left leg reaches away. It doesn't have to really do much of a movement, but you're just stretching that left leg away. And then exhale, let that left leg soften and let the energy come back to the navel. Soften the left glute, you have a sense of tight in there. Inhale, feel the belly expand, reach through your right toes, reach through your right leg, really get some length there. And even if it's just internal length, and then exhale and soften that right leg and soften the navel. Inhale, feel the belly expand and let that energy from the navel come all the way up to the top of the head, reaching through the top of the head without really having to move much. And then exhale, relax all the muscles you use to reach through the top of the head and let that energy get back into the belly button. And then finally, let's try and extend all that energy through all five points. So inhale, belly gets big, reach through your toes, reach through your hands, reach through the top of the head, expand as much from the navel, as much from that center body as you can. And then exhale, let the whole body relax and everything come back to the navel. And you can stay here if you'd like. If it's too open, too exposed, then go ahead and bring the 
the arms down by your side, keep the legs kind of wide, keep the arms kind of wide. And readjust your body in whatever way you need to so that you feel comfortable on the floor. Start to take some deep breaths into your belly, feeling that inhale and exhale. Close your eyes. your eyes are closed. Focus on that breath a little deeper. Feel how your inhale follows the exhale. How your exhale follows the inhale. Feeling the rhythm of your breath. issues, worries, and concerns, creating a fire to get work done that needs done when it needs done. Digesting experiences, both good and bad. Allowing yourself to be soft and quiet and whole and holy. center of your breathing, the center of your nourishment, to the navel 
center. And breathing deeply into that space. And then nice and slow, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And carefully as you can, start to bring your knees to your chest. Onto your right side, again, moving into that center body. You're in the fetal position. You're crowded almost around the navel. Again, pressing the left hand into the floor. Come all the way up into seated. And bring the hands together in front of your heart. And bow your head. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I'm so grateful for all of you. Or if it's not your practice, I'll be nice. Take care.